a lot of atoms add up to make molecules. And when you have a bunch of molecules together, together they'll make up macromolecules. Macromolecules are just bigger molecules. The word macro means big. There are four types of macromolecules. Proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids. Today, we're going to concentrate on carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are commonly known as sugar. There are two types. One is a one sugar, and then there is a many sugar. The one sugar in carbohydrates are called monosaccharide, and the many sugar is called polysaccharides. The word saccharide means sugar, and mono means one, and poly therefore means many. Under monosaccharide, there are four types of monosaccharide, glucose, fructose, ribose, and galactose. There are many others too, but these are just to name a few and are the most common ones. Under polysaccharide, we have starch, glycogen, cellulose, and chitin. For this video lesson, we're going to focus on cellulose. Here's a picture of cellulose. It looks scary, but don't worry. Just concentrate on the linkage. Notice that the first one is up, the second one is down, and then the third one is up. So the pattern is constant like that for cellulose. The linkage is up and down, up and down, and therefore it's called beta linkage compared to all the other ones. And that's pretty much all you need to know about cellulose in terms of structures for now. Cellulose is a many sugar found in mostly plant cell wall. So here's a flower and then the green stuff right there has a wall so therefore they're all, all made of cellulose. Trees also have cellulose too. We call them wood. Grass is also made up of cellulose because grass plant cells have cell wall. Cows can eat and digest grass. Humans and certain animals cannot eat grass. Cows can eat grass and digest the cellulose. Termite can eat wood and digest the wood. Same thing with horse. The reason is because inside these animals' stomach, for example the cow, inside the rumen, they have tiny bacteria that helps them digest the grass. That's correct because vegetables are plants and all plants have cell wall and therefore they're all made up of cellulose. Well actually we can't digest vegetable. You see cow, horses, and termites for example, they can eat grass or hay or wood and they can digest. That's because inside their stomach, they have these bacteria, these good bacteria that helps them digest. It's a symbiotic relationship. The bacteria will break down the grass with cow, for example, and provide nutrients for the cow. In return, these bacteria have a safe haven, and then they also feed on the other foods of the cow. For humans, when we eat, vegetable, we don't have these kind of bacteria, so we cannot break down the cellulose. We eat vegetable because it helps clean our system. Many things need to be kept constantly clean, for example, like brushing our teeth and changing the oil of the car. If we don't change the oil, then the car may not work. So how do we clean our digestive system? We can't just stick a brush in there and just brush and clean it out. After we eat and digest normal food, our body consumes the material that are nutritious and we use them as energy. But in return, our body also creates waste material which needs to be excreted and that's why we go to the restroom. However, not 100% of the waste material is going to come out. There will still be some left in our body. And eventually it's going to start building up and can cause clogging.